Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, the premier source for Second Amendment news. Today is Monday, the Monday morning grind brought to us by Blackout Coffee. Uh, at blackoutcoffee.com slash gng, link is down below in the pinned comment. Uh, you know what we do typically, great coffees, teas, and hot chocolates, as well as fantastic swag. But I want to tell you today about Operation Blackout. Operation Blackout is our way of giving back to our troops and giving them fresh roasted coffee as fast as possible. And you can help us donate coffee by going to our webpage and under the More tab on our uh, menu here, select Operation Blackout. Operation Blackout was created by Blackout Coffee and it's a way for our honorable customers uh, to give back to our deployed troops by donating coffee care packages. Now we offer them at a discounted price as a way of saying thank you, and there are a couple ways you can do it. Now clicking the I wanna donate will bring you to this screen where you can see you have two options. You have a random unit option and a designated unit option. If you know somebody who's stationed overseas, a loved one, a friend or whatever, you wanna bring joy to them in their unit, then click designated unit. You can enter in their information and then once you finish the checkout of what you want to send over, leave the rest to us and we'll get it to them as fast as possible. If you don't have a designated unit, then you can select random unit and we at Blackout Coffee will pull off of a list of units overseas that have requested our coffee. The other option is I am deployed. If you are deployed and would like some coffee for yourself or your unit or even another unit, some of your buddies, uh, you want to send some to your battle buddies, then you just fill out uh, this area here and then we'll do what we do to get the freshest coffee over to you all. Again, guys and gals, link is down below, blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG, and it's Operation Blackout. Let's get into today's news. Far too often, the media demonizes those of us who carry a firearm for defensive use, right? You know, you've all seen it. Uh, nobody, you're not carrying a gun 24 hours a day and yada, yada, yada. But you hear all kinds of stories about defensive gun uses, whether it's, you know, the little old lady who stopped a home invasion or an Uber driver who saved his or her own life. Now you hear it from our ends, but you never really hear it that much in the mainstream media. And that's what uh, I want to help you uh, understand here. And to give you some facts that you can use when you are confronted with an anti-gunner who really is talking out of their uh, backside. Uh, so. There's several stats that I'm going to give you, and just so I get them right, I'm going to refer to my notes. And um, it's, it's interesting because we all know that defensive uh, gun uses uh, far outweigh the amount of you know negative gun uses. Uh, however, the mainstream media and the politicians only look at the negative gun uses to try to push their agenda of becoming the next Justin Trudeau paradise. Um, and... That's what this video is for. So please pass this along. Um, guns are a great equalizer. When you are looking eye to eye with evil, as all of us who carry know, gun, a gun on your hip is a, more effective than a cop on the phone. I say it in every video now. Um, and there's some cool things that uh, I think statistics, which are proven, uh, which are out there, and, and even from major governmental agencies, uh, but they need to be thrown out there because it absolutely helps our side. So women. Women are one of the largest growing demographics of uh, gun owners, new gun owners, in the last two years since the burn them all down happened and then the pandemic. And studies show now that women are 2.4 times more likely to be seriously hurt if they're not carrying a firearm for their own defense. Ladies. Uh, I'm going to come back to the ladies with a stat that I, I love. An average of 18 national studies show that defensive gun uses happen about 2 million times a year to save people's lives. And those numbers are much higher, as you know, than those that are thrown out by the anti-gun squad looking to ban uh, everything that's scary to them. The CDC the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the same group that wants more money to, in, you know, to study gun violence so that they can restrict things, like put a mask on your gun or something, or maybe give your gun some type of uh, vaccine so it's not so deadly. They've come out and said that there's an average anywhere between 500,000 and 3 million defensive gun uses every single year. Now, they, it's kind of a big sway. They don't want people to really know it's, it's always on the high end, always on the high end. But for the CDC to come out and say that, then it kind of kills their anti-gun agenda just by the, st the statistics that they put out. Now, not every defensive gun usage ends up in the perpetrator being killed or, or shot or injured. And that, in fact, that only happens less than 1% of the time. Over 95% of the time a defensive uh, gun use happens, it is the simple brandishing of the firearm that stops the immediate threat to someone's life 
and that is a win. Even back in Bill Clinton's uh, presidency, his Department of Justice, uh, during their uh, studies, they found that uh, firearms are used defensively 1.5 million times a year or 4,000 times a day back in the Clinton era. And even Obama's CDC came out and said that uh, defensive uh, or guns are used uh, to save a life 16 to 100 times more than they are to take a life. So what does that tell you? Guns aren't the problem. It's the criminal. In fact, firearms carried on one's person for the purpose of self-defense have proven million times year after year after year to do just that. Uh, in 1995, there was an award-winning study done by Dr. Gary Kleck, and he found that, that firearms are used defensively more than 2.5 million times a year, or more than 7,000 times a day. You certainly don't hear one iota of, of those numbers as far as what the, the mainstream media will tell you. I told you we we're going to come back to women. Women, again, one of the biggest, uh, fastest growing demographics of new gun owners. Uh, we now, well, we have known, but it's it's come out in statistics now that uh, women use a firearm for their own self-defense to stop a rape, a sexual assault, or a domestic violence situation more than 200,000 times a year. And that is fantastic. That is great. And those numbers, guys and gals, those are just the ones we know about. Uh, statistics, when you're looking at crime and stuff, uh, you only know a very small portion. Not everybody reports all this stuff, especially when it comes to like uh, rape attempts and stuff like that. Uh, this is just a small percentage of what actually takes place because this is what people have reported. So I just thought I'd start this week off here on President's Day with a fantastic uh, bunch of statistics that you can use in your daily conversations, whether it's with a family member who's pro-gun, you want to help educate them a little more to give them some more knowledge, or if you are talking with somebody who's anti-gun, maybe you can open up their eyes a little bit saying, hey, you know, uh, even Obama and Clinton's uh, agencies have said that Firearms are used defensively to save more lives and take more lives, and they happen millions of times a year. So just some good good, good juju out there with this one. Uh, start the week that way because you know how the week's probably going to end. Uh, but uh, again, also today is President's Day of Blackout Coffee. You can save 20% with code PRESIDENTS20. Links down below, blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG. Thank you all for making this possible. I really, really I am just so blessed to have you all uh, as this community here at Guns and Gadgets. Thank you to everybody who did vote for me down at the Gundys. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. A gun in your hip is much more effective than a cop on the phone. And we are the new Sons of Liberty. We're getting stuff done. Take care, all.